What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ignatica 2 Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we ended up making our Draconic Armor. Oh, yeah, this stuff is really, really cool. We can move around really fast with it. Been kind of playing with the settings and getting used to it. Yeah, we are super, super speedy. Uh, last episode, we also ended up making the Chaos Core, or Chaotic Core, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, we made this guy. We're trying to get to the Creative Fluid Tank. That is our goal. Uh, we need to get a whole bunch of different fluid types, which we probably have some of this stuff. I'm not exactly sure how much of it we have. Uh, we do need to get ourselves some resonant cell frame foals, some of these ultimate catalysts, some more awakened cores, a bunch of demonically gargantuan drums. One, two, three, four, five, ten, sixteen of those. And, oh, those are a changed recipe here. Look at this. Okay. So we need demonic large plate, and you can do that with a block of demon metal through a metal press. Okay. Or you can cast it out and wait for the uh, casting to happen. Uh, Klein bottles are clean, or how do you pronounce that? I don't actually know. Clear glass. All right, so we got some things here. Then the uh, reinforced drum requires iron drums. And those are kind of expensive, isn't it? Iron sheet metal for all this stuff. It's probably a thing that we're going to want to set up and auto craft for. Uh, so the block of... Actually, let's undo this. Let us get back here. We'll try and make these first. So the demonically gargantuan requires these, which requires these. So the uh, demon ingots, is there a good way for us to do it? So nether brick on all four sides, that's cool that there is actually a GEI thing that tells you how to do this. I was kind of wondering if there was like a better way for us to do it. It doesn't really say there is, but yeah, we've made this before. So demon, yeah, we have 87 of those, but I don't know if that's going to be enough for what we need to do here. In fact, I'm pretty sure that isn't. So that gets us nine. And we need four per. And we need 16 of those. So we need a full stack of these things. <laughs> okay. So we are partway there, but not quite a quarter of the way. So we need to put a lot of demon or a lot of gold, I guess, into lava. And turn it into the demon stuff. Now, I did have to make some of this recently. I don't remember uh, when I made that. Maybe for making the ultimate ingot? Maybe? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and grab some lava. We'll toss it into this thing, and then we will grab some gold. I honestly don't know how much we need. Let's just make a couple thousand gold here. And yeah, that's going to be enough. That'll get us a stack of blocks, which... Should do what we need. Just go and queue all of these guys in there. And we ended up not getting them all back, it looks like. Interesting. Maybe you gotta do it slower? Maybe that's a problem. I don't know. But anyway, let's take a look at how many of these that we have now. We need a stack of these blocks, and we're up to 52. Not quite there. Alright, let's just do like three more stacks. We'll try and do it a little slower. So there's a stack. 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 Yeah, I think I was just queuing those in too fast previously, and that was causing some issues. All right, so now we got a stack of the demon metal. Cool. So we need to do a recipe for this guy. Let's come over here. We'll do the, is it a processing pattern? And there we go. We don't want that in there. And that should be all we need to do. So metal press should be in there just like so. Cool. All right, so we want this guy. Yeah, that's going to be a regular pattern now. All right, so that is the demonic large plates in order to make the demonically gargantuan drums. But we still have to make these guys and then go down the line here. So let's make a recipe for this. I don't know if we have the clear glass. I don't know if there's like an easy way for us to make that other than smelting glass and then like casting it out. Let's take a look real quick. Liquid glass, casting, that appears to be the only way. Okay, so we are going to need a few of that. I'll have to, uh, yeah, I'll just have to do that. Do we have the experience uh, enchant? Yeah, we have plenty of that stuff, but I'll, oh, enchanting. All right, so back to this guy. We need reinforced. We should be able to make those. I think we have everything except for the iron drum pattern. And then the iron drums are made... Like so. The only thing I'd be concerned that we don't have would be the cauldron on AutoCraft. And we do have that. Do we have stone drum? We don't have stone drum on AutoCraft. So we are getting pretty close here to AutoCrafting all of these different things. Uh, instead of any type of slab. And we got plenty of the stone slabs. So we will just stick with this. Cool. 
All right, so let's put all these patterns into our system here. Do we got a spot for all these things? Let's put them right here. I think that makes sense. Okay, so we want demonically. So we're missing the clear glass, but let's just see if we're missing anything else. We're missing stone burn, so we don't know how to do that. And we're missing clear glass. Okay. So stone burnt is another thing that we should be able to make quite easily. Uh, so let's go into here. Actually, where was the stone burnt required? The stone drums? Okay, so here we go. So making polished stone into stone burnt, that's easy enough. Do we have polished stone? We have that on auto craft already. So this just needs to go in our resonator. And that is down here. Yep. We already have that hooked up. That should be the red guy right there. All right. So demonically gargantuan drum just needs clear glass at this point. 128, two stacks of it. Okay. So I am going to melt down a bunch of glass and cast it out. Um, yeah, that really shouldn't be that big of a deal. Sand or glass, either way, I think works. I uh, just need to pop that into here. We will not do it through this one. We're going to do it through this side because we want the blocks, right? Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and smelt down all this glass and cast it out, and we'll continue on. All right, so that was pretty simple. Just put the two stacks of sand in there, time in a bottle this so it goes faster, and then I added in the fluid conduit here. So we're always extracting with no redstone signal, so if we have extra stuff in here, it gets sucked back into the smeltery, and with the redstone signal... Uh, we extract out of the smeltery into here to cast into blocks. Same thing as we have hooked up over on this side. Yep, same thing. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we casted out the two stacks of clear glass. Yeah, we 128 of those, so we are good to go. So now we should be able to make the demonic, gargantuanly demonic drum, whatever. So 16, and it looks like we have everything available. All right, so let's craft that up. It's probably going to be a little slow. It does require a whole bunch of different things happening all at the same time. Uh, lots of plates and all sorts of stuff like that. Looks like this is happening just fine. I'm glad that works. Uh, a bunch of compressed diamond. Cool. So we'll just let that do its thing. We don't have to worry about that anymore. So what's the next task that we got here? Uh, we need Awakened Cores, Ultimate Catalyst. Maybe we should make a recipe for these Ultimate Catalysts. Let's do that. Okay, so Ultimate Catalyst. We are going to do a regular craft for that. Let me go ahead and bookmark that so it's easier for us to find. Cool, so Ultimate Catalyst. Just making sure we didn't already do this before. We have... Oh, we do have Ultimate Catalyst. Ultimate Component, Ultimate Catalyst. It knows how to make those. Black Iron Ingot, Ultimate Component. It doesn't show that it's using any of the Ultimate Ingots. Is this, to, oh, this is called the Ultimate Catalyst? And this is called Ultimate Catalyst. That is actually different. Okay, so that confused me. <laughs> uh, the Ultimate Catalyst, we don't have done. I was like, yeah, that doesn't really look right. I was just thinking maybe it didn't show up with the glowy thing in there. Yeah, that that is in fact different. Okay, so we have a recipe for that. We need a recipe for these guys. And I think that might be all that we need. I think that might be it. Let's go ahead and throw these in here somewhere. Find a little home for these. And according to this, we need four the ultimate catalyst. Looks like we can craft those. Cool. All right, so we're down to 28 Ultimate ingots, the ultimate ingot. Yeah, so it is different. <laughs> it's got the word the in it. All right, so we got the drums. We got those. We have the chaos core. We don't have these awakened cores, but I can craft those up. We do have the ultimate ingots. We need four of these angel sight or angle sight. Still don't know how to pronounce that properly. We have 17 of those. We are good to go. Uh, next thing is we need black hole tanks. Let's make these. Black hole, we don't have those at all. So a black hole tank requires empowered void crystal plus rubber or plastic, machine case, gray plastic, ultimate fluid tanks. So we need a recipe for that, I'm pretty sure. And then black hole talisman. Oh, I'm I'm on the wrong thing. I thought I was gonna make a pattern for these. Uh, this guy, all right. So we're gonna do or dictionary substitutions. I want plastic in there, not the IC2 rubber. 
Uh, actually, let's not do substitutions. So we want all of this stuff. So let's go ahead and craft that, put it into here. And then this will tell us what we are missing when we do try and craft it. So black, whoops, black hole tank. We want four of these. So I know for sure we are missing the talismans. So it looks like we do have ultimate fluid tanks and knows how to craft that. So the only thing we are missing is the gray plastic block and the black hole talisman. Gray plastic. What? Isn't that how? Gray. G-R-E-Y. Gray plastic block. Okay. And then the... Black hole talisman. Black hole talisman. Cool. All right, so the gray plastic block, that is HDPE sheets wrapped around gray dye. Okay. Gray dye. I don't think we have gray dye, but we can do... Oh, no, that's light gray. Uh, can we do this, this, and then we need... Was it a pestle and mortar? This guy, like so. So that makes the floral gray. And then I don't know if we have the HDPE. We do have some of that in here. Perfect. Awesome. So there's our gray plastic block. So black hole tank. Make sure everything's satisfied here except for the black hole talisman. It still doesn't like gray plastic block. Did I, I thought we had some in there. Were we missing six? I need to do that recipe twice. Maybe that's what's going on here. Gray. We have six gray plastic blocks. I am confused. Does it need eight of them? <laughs> okay, one more time. Black hole tank. We want four of these guys. Yeah, now it's saying, okay. So we are missing eight of those. I was confused. I thought for some reason that we only needed four of them. Apparently it said we needed eight of them. I don't know. So HDPE, oh, lag, uh, we have over here. And we turn those into the HDPE sheets. HDPE. That is through the enrichment chamber. Three of those turns into one. Uh, yeah, let's just grab one more stack of this. Let's go. There we go. All right. So we'll take two stacks of that and we'll turn those into some HDPE sheets over in our enrichment chamber. I do believe we did this uh, a little while ago. We do have to turn off the auto sort because otherwise it'll spread them all out. You'll have two here, one here, whatever. It needs three per slot. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this. Manually put them in there. I think that'll be just fine. Okay, so we got that cooking. I'll have to go in there and remove the two remaining so now we need the uh, gray. Gray is spelled with an A-Y here, but it's spelled with an E-Y here. Is there a difference? I think that's what's one of the things that really confuses me. Like, what is the proper spelling for the color gray? Is it E-Y or A-Y? I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we want the, uh, the pestle and mortar once again. Oh, that's light gray. Gray, this one. All right, so there's that HDPE, there's this, and there is that. Okay, so now if we make the black hole tank, and we want four of them, the only thing we should be missing is the black hole talisman. Okay, so let's figure this guy out. So in order to make this, we need Elementium ingots, Ender Air bottles, and Gaia Spirit. Do we have Ender Air? We do. I think we should have everything to craft this up. So let us make a recipe for this. Gaia Spear. We have 39 of those, so we are good. And we know how to craft those automatically. So yeah, all we got to do is just add this into our thing here, and we should be able to craft up four black hole tanks. Black hole... Whoop, blink. <laughs> black hole tank. Four of them. Everything happy? Oh, everything is happy. All right, so things are happening. We are going to have to craft up <laughs> like 3,500 iron plates to get all this stuff done. Um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong recipe. It is still crafting up the gargantuan drums. So we are crafting up... Oh, we are almost done here. It's doing something, and I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. Um, okay, let's just wait for this to finish up, and we'll be right back, guys.
So the black hole tank recipe never finished up, and I was kind of trying to figure out what was going on, and yeah, it has to do with the mechanism and setting it to not using or dictionary substitutions. Yeah, so that, like, it tries to use the same NBT data. So when you shift click from JEI and make the pattern, like the NBT data is different than what the actual item is. So I canceled the recipe, I put our black hole tank thing back here, and then I used one of the existing ultimate fluid tanks that have been created and re-did uh, the pattern. Click the encode button and then put it back in there. And now it looks like uh, when I do black hole tank, I want to craft four of those. It says that we have these ultimate fluid tanks available. And there you go. So we have these now, black hole tanks. We have four of those. We have our 16 demonically gargantuan drums so we can move on to the next items here so we can get rid of these all right so the next items probably resonant cell frames we should worry about those so resonant uh cell frames so we can make the empty ones and then we're gonna have to manually put them through the thing in order to make them the full variance now this isn't working this is a problem that happens, <laughs> from my understanding, because of storage drawers. Uh, it says it has to craft these blocks of redstone, but it says it has two available. Yeah, I think really what we have to do is we just come in here and we just craft up thousands of redstone. I didn't mean to do the minus 1,000 there. I was just crafting up a whole bunch. That way we have the blocks available, we have the redstone available, and it's trying to pull both of those now that can be solved if you don't use the compact storage or the compacting drawers and you just have recipes in the system that say the dust turn into the blocks and then it can always craft more dust from the essence turn the dust into the blocks and then everything's going to be satisfied here uh so resonant cell frame four of those are we gonna be able to do this now Yes, okay, so that is one of those things you really got to look out for every now and then. Uh, so I'll let these things craft up. We will do the thing to turn them into the full version. So I got to craft up all of these things and run it through the machine four times. Uh, I guess I could make a pattern to do this, but we don't make these that often. So meh, I'll just go ahead and do it the manual thing. Pulsating mesh might be another thing that we're going to have an issue with. Yeah. Uh, it might be time to set up bees in the end specifically to make these things. I don't know uh, But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and probably just go to the end and farm up more of the hives using our scooper reader 9,000 whatever MX 200 turbo. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and do that All right guys, so our next step in order to get this thing going We need to get these different buckets full of different fluids here so the first one wants us to make goat milk. Well, I assume that's going to come from a goat, right? Uh, so we should have the ability to do that. Now, which one is a goat? Is it these? Is it the ram? Maybe it's the ram. All right, let's Oh, Actually, I guess you wouldn't get milk from the ram. Would you get it from the U? Uh, let's do this one. Put it into here. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, like I don't Okay, so that was like two name tags on top. Yeah, so I have one of these for the U and one for the RAM, but uh, when you put it in there, yeah, you see you get the RAM and you get the U. So I guess I don't really need to double up all these different mob imprisonment tools for the different male or female ones. Uh, but anyway, so let's grab a bucket. Well, you know what? We're going to need a few buckets. Let's just craft up some buckets here. All right, so one bucket and right click, nothing. Uh, do I need to do it with nothing, 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 nothing? So how do you get milk out of one of these? Are these not the ones that produce milk? Is it a different animal? Uh, there is also these guys. Maybe it's one of these that uh, will do it. Well, we could try one of these. Let's give that a go. Let's put you in here. So there's one, right click, right click, right click, nothing is happening. So is there something special that I need to do in order to get the milk that we are looking for? Man, these guys are annoying, aren't they? <laughs> Goat milk. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. I thought it was just gonna be as simple as spawn these guys in, right click on one, you good to go, like if it, was, if it was a cow. But apparently there is something more that we need. 
Okay. So apparently I was using the wrong ones. We have to use these does, apparently. And uh, according to the wiki, they will only provide milk after having a child. So like right clicking on the bucket does nothing. Obviously the male wouldn't do anything, the female. Uh, yeah, so it says it's pregnant. I fed both of these two, uh, what did I give them, wheat? Yep, and then I didn't even know that they were pregnant until I pressed shift here. And it says that they're pregnant, okay. So we gotta wait another 4,700 ticks, whichever, however long that's gonna be, like 10 minutes or something, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, we gotta wait that long in order for them to have a kid, I suppose. And then at that point, we should be able to get our goat milk. What a chore this is. I'm gonna try and spam right click when that happens, just so we can uh, make sure we get a whole bunch extra. I don't know how much of the goat milk we're gonna need, but definitely don't wanna have to go through this process again. All right, guys, so the doe was pregnant and the tick down to zero and then it kept going up to 100 and then ticking down to zero and going to 100 and ticking down to zero. And it said on the tool tip that it was thirsty. So I made a trough and I put water into it and they completely ignored it. I tried putting water on the ground, they ignored it. And then finally I walked up to the doe and I right clicked it with my bucket of water, which it looked like it ate, it got hearts. And then it had the kid like immediately afterwards. You can see the uh, the kid getting bigger and bigger. So now I can right click and get milk. Looks like I um, can only do it once. Is it only once per, uh, is there a cooldown? It says ready to milk. So I'm right clicking, it says thirsty. Oh, okay. So I have, do I have to keep giving it water in order to do this? Maybe. I didn't, I, I don't know how this works. The <laughs> first time, like really doing anything in this particular mod other than looking at the animals and being like, hmm, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it's thirsty. It's ignoring the water trough. So if I right click it with water, it says well fed, ready to milk, fertile. And then I can right click it to get milk. Interesting. Now it's thirsty again. So I do this. Don't run away. Well fed. Right click it. Thirsty. Okay. So that's how you do it. You trade water for milk. I get it. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I think we should be pretty much done with this portion right now. So goat milk done. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So bucket of blood, that's the next one that we need to do. So let's get up here and take a look at that. So we'll put the, uh, the goat milk in here. All right, so there is that guy. We'll put these away, all of this stuff. So I did make a melter. Uh, yeah, let's just put that right here. So melter with energy upgrades and speed upgrades. So the reason why I made a melter is because quite a lot of these items are just things that we can put through a melter in order to get the fluid. Uh, so bucket of blood requires blood, which we can put in uh, rotten flesh into a melter. You get 40 millibuckets per rotten flesh. I honestly don't know how much we need, so I'll just do this. If we get too much, you know, whatever, we can just get rid of it. Yeah, that's too much already. <laughs> All right, so we need a bucket. And should just be able to click in here. Maybe right click on this. There we go. So bucket of blood. Go ahead and kill that. And then we will replace it. Actually, can you like do a shift right click on this thing to empty it? You might be able to. Maybe that'll be simpler in the future. But anyway, we got ourselves a bucket of blood. Awesome. So we can add that over here. So the next one is liquid DNA. Now that we already have set up for one of our different machines over here. Liquid DNA. I think it was this one, right? So we've already done this a little bit. Yeah, we have some liquid DNA in here. Not enough for what we need to do. So if I remember correctly, we were putting in saplings into this thing. How are we doing on saplings? We got a bunch of gooseberry saplings. Will that work for liquid DNA? Those don't go in there. I remember we had to take something like um, the vanilla saplings Put it through, whoops, sapling. Put it through the analyzer, which turned it into uh, the forestry version. Then we can take those and put it into here. Yeah, and then that's gonna do its thing. Now this is going to go a little bit slow, so we'll speed up this process with our time in a bottle, which is using a whole lot of power here. <laughs> uh, do I have that thing set to receive infinite power? Yeah, uh, limit fall, so I guess it can only accept so much power per side. And that's kind of slowing us down. Uh, this let us switch that to extract. Actually, can I extract out of there? Maybe I can. If I put that on insert. 
No, it does not look like we can extract out of here. So we want to make sure all the liquid DNA from the saplings goes into this thing. And then we want to get our bucket. Uh, yeah, this is going very slowly. Goodness. I don't know if there's a good way for us to speed this up. Hmm. And we got only 100 millibuckets per. Okay, so we'll let that go. I'll get ourselves a bucket of that. Let's move on to the next item. So the next item would be fruit juice. Okay, so I think that is something that we can use a, uh, what is it called? <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. A fluid transposer? So a fluid transposer to fill a bucket, but to get the fruit juice, yeah, fluid transposer. So we can put like an apple in there and then that we extract the juice out. So that's pretty easy. Or we can put it into the mechanical squeezer. Is that simple enough? Well, I guess we could try that apple. We already have a mechanical squeezer set up. So 16 of them. Apple. Oop, put it in that side. Okay, so we get fruit juice. Yes. All right, so that's easy. Oh, whoops. Need one more. Okay, so there's a bucket. Can I grab it this way? Do I right click on it? There we go. Cool. Bucket of fruit juice. Okay, so yep, got another one done. Uh, back to this. Uh, mutagen. Have we done a mutatron? Yes, it looks like, or I guess a mutagen producer. Okay, so we'll just add this over here to our growing pile of machines. Uh, so we just need to get ourselves some redstone or glowstone blocks. I don't really remember how much you get per, but redstone's cheap. We have that on auto craft. Or, I'm sorry, we have that from our mystical agriculture. Yeah, our crops. So we'll just go ahead and click that a few times. Cool. All right, so that's all we're going to need right there. All right, another bucket done. Mutagen bucket. Easy. So, yeah, another one done. Next one we have here is biomass bucket. Now, biomass we get from a melter, we get from a fermenter, we get from a squeezer. Okay, so a squeezer, if we had camouflaged paneling, we can get it. If we had biomass capsule, uh, I think we're going to have to do the fermenter. So we need water, honey, or grape juice. Or actually, I guess there's like 800 pages <laughs> of different things. So yeah, water, probably uh, not mulch. Yeah, this fertilizer, we have plenty of that. And then something else, I think we can put apples in there or probably a whole bunch of different things. Okay, do we have a fermenter? We don't. All right, so that's the next thing we need to make, fermenter. So a fermenter is made with bronze gears. All right, easy, easy, easy. Here we go. All right, so fermenter, quest complete fermenter. And we'll just add that right here. So we're gonna need to add some water in here, get some of the fertilizer. I don't think you need too much of this stuff. Yep, so let me go ahead and get some stuff. Apples. I think that's fermentable. If not, I'll find something else. No, actually, those don't even go in there. Uh, let's go back to this. So we wanted to make biomass in the fermenter. So it looks like grapes will work. Some kind of seeds. I wish there was a way. Oh, melons work. All right, well, let's just do that. Melon. We should have plenty of those. Awesome. Okay, and then we just need to give this a little bit of water. Come on here and grab a few buckets. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so water. Water. And water. All right, so this goes a little slow. Um... No, actually, I guess it's not that slow. We're almost halfway, or we're a little over halfway there right now. So that's pretty good. All right, so we'll have our bucket of biomass here momentarily. Perfect. Okay, so we are good on that. I'll just let that continue to run. All right, so we add our biomass over to this, and we almost got the top row completed. Now, we do have to do these portable tanks full of different stuff. So we need ethanol, uh, tree oil, Primal mana, UU matter. The UU matter is going to be easy. We already have that. Uh, maybe we'll hold off on that for a little bit. Which water bucket? Okay. So which water? We need water in a barrel on top of mycelium. 
Or, I guess if we had ancient spores, we can toss that into the water to get this, I guess. Fluid plus item transformation. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we'll probably just do it this way. Yeah. If we can get ourselves some mycelium, that'll be pretty easy. Yep, so this one's pretty easy. You just place down mycelium, you make yourself a stone barrel, fill it full of water, and wait. Uh, I think the more mycelium that's around, the faster that it produces, but since we have time in a bottle, it doesn't really matter that much. So yeah, we were able to get the witch water quite quickly. So there we go, witch water bucket, awesome. So now we can go ahead and throw that guy right into here. So we have a good portion of this completed, but yeah, obviously we're out of time for today. So we'll have to worry about getting the rest of these things next time. Like I still don't know how to get this lava bucket. Uh, that's not regular lava. That's something from IC2, molten clay. Yeah, there's going to be a few things here that we're going to have to mess around with in order to get all this stuff done, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do this. Yeah, getting these tanks full of like the different materials, like this primal mana, that's going to be fun. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here for today. No quest complete today, but we've gotten a good portion of things done. Yeah, I never knew how to get goat milk in this game before. Now I know how to get it, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.